at first glance, the Phantom 3500 looks like any other private jet, except maybe a little more futuristic. But there's nothing off the shelf about this design. Every inch of it has been custom designed around one concept, laminar flow. For an airplane, streamlining isn't just about looks. It's about keeping the air moving smoothly over the fuselage with almost no turbulence. That dramatically cuts down on drag and boosts efficiency. Think of it like riding a bike with your hand out in front of you. If you keep your hand perfectly still, you feel almost no wind resistance. But introduce a little shake or wobble and suddenly it feels like you're fighting a headwind twice as strong. It's the same thing with planes. Even the tiniest bumps or swirls in the airflow create turbulence, which adds drag and waste fuel. For decades, engineers have tried to solve this problem. And the best solution they've come up with is the laminar flow wing, which has a curved upper surface and a relatively flat bottom. This encourages the air to stick close to the wing and reduces drag by up to 20%. But it's really hard to keep the air flowing smoothly over the rest of the plane, especially at high speeds where friction and turbulence become a bigger problem. Most general aviation planes use what's called a blunt body shape, which isn't very aerodynamic, but it keeps the passengers safe in case of a crash. But this creates a lot of drag and limits the plane's speed and range. The solution, as audacious as it sounds, is to redesign the entire plane around laminar flow, starting with the wings. The Phantom's wings are bigger than the ones on the 500L, stretching out to 45 restabilis 45 meters and they also have a unique shape that encourages laminar flow at high speeds but the real innovation comes down to the flaps these are small movable sections on the trailing edge of the wing that can change the way the air flows over the surface when they're closed the air moves smoothly over the wing when they're open the air separates into two streams creating lift and drag by controlling how and when the flaps open and close the phantom can stay in laminar flow even during takeoff and landing but wings aren't the only trick to laminar flow. The tail is just as important, and the Phantom's T-shaped tail is a radical departure from traditional designs. The vertical stabilizer, or fin, is mounted on a short, thick strut at the top of the fuselage. At first glance, it looks like the plane's tail, but it's actually part of the wing. This lets the air move smoothly over the fuselage without hitting the fin and disrupting the flow. The horizontal stabilizer, or elevator, is mounted on a thin, long boom that stretches out from the back of the fuselage. This keeps the elevators out of the turbulent wake behind the fuselage, where they can do the most good. The Phantom 3500 isn't the first plane to try laminar flow. The Horten Brothers flying wing designs from World War II were some of the earliest to incorporate the concept. But the Phantom takes it further by combining laminar flow with modern materials and technology. The plane is made mostly from carbon fiber, which is super strong and lightweight and it uses advanced computer systems to control the flaps and elevators and keep the plane stable. The results are staggering. Otto claims that the Phantom 3500 will burn 70% less fuel than other business jets and 50% less than the 500L. It'll have a range of more than 5,000 nautical miles, which means it could fly non-stop from New York to London or Tokyo to Sydney. It'll be able to carry up to eight passengers at speeds of up to Mach 1.5, which is almost twice the speed of sound. Otto's CEO, Paul Tao, says the skeptics are wrong. He believes the Phantom will be the most efficient plane in the sky, and he plans to prove it within the next few years. If he's right, then we could see a revolution in aviation. Military planes could fly further, faster, and carry more payload. Or business jets could become a viable alternative to traditional planes, and space travel could become more affordable. 